Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little Mac app review for ScreenFlow, for the Mac, obviously. So let's get right into this. I'm going to pop open ScreenFlow. This is the actual program itself. Uh, it's not only a screen recorder like I'm using right now, but it's also a video editor. So I can plop uh, videos into here, chop them up, add annotations if I want. I can add like a little FaceTime camera over here if I wanted, which I don't do. Uh, but if you ever see like tutorials and stuff of things where people record their screen, they have a little uh, square box over there with their face because they're recording with their webcam or whatever. That's probably from ScreenFlow because it does a really nice job of it. Uh, obviously, I don't do that, but you can do that if you want. So it can also record just your computer's audio, which is pretty sweet. It's an option when you are beginning your recording somewhere up here. When you click New Recording, uh, it will do that and ask you if you want to just record that, which I did. If you didn't see my Asphalt 6 Adrenaline video, it's just gameplay. The audio from that is straight from the computer. It's not from my speakers or anything. So you have to install an extra dri driver and stuff, but it's really simple to do. And uh, it the ScreenFlow application helps you do it, and it takes like 30 seconds to install that driver. But it can record your computer's audio directly, which is really nice. So it's great for gameplay videos. So I was uh, messing around with this. I actually reshot this. I'm reshooting this video to make it a little bit clearer for you guys. But uh, basically, I opened up my other video that I recorded a few days ago of the Asphalt 6 Adrenaline. And uh, I'm going to show you basically what you can do with this. So I have a text box here, uh, which I can just put whatever I want. Actually, I'm going to delete this text box and just redo this. So. Here's my recording. I can uh, look at the video properties here. I can uh, scale it however I want. I was messing with the rotation, but uh, you can make it look really sweet. I've got reflection on. There's a shadow I can change the color of, I think. I've never really used, I've used this a little, the shadow, but I mainly use reflection. It looks a lot cooler, I think. So if I turn off reflection here, you can see the shadow of it. It's kind of like a, that white off to the side. And I think that looks pretty cool. Just changes to zero. Uh, so yeah, you can see the shadow. I like, like I said, I like to use reflection more because it just looks a lot sweeter. I think because when the uh, video plays, it of course moves with it, which is I don't know. I just think it's sweet. Then you can change the saturation, brightness, contrast, and those are just video properties. Now there's audio properties. Actually, that looks terrible. I'm gonna. Bring back whatever, just about what it was, maybe closer to what it was. They're probably whatever. It's good enough. Uh, so audio properties, uh, I can of course change the volume. Ducking, I don't really know what that does. Uh, smooth volume levels, that's probably just what it sounds like. It smoothens out like highs and lows and stuff. And then remove background noise. Haven't really needed to use that before, but I might try it out one of these times screen recording properties so I can show the mouse pointer uh, or not if I don't want to uh, I can choose the click effect I usually use radar I think in most of my videos that I use uh, screen flow for and then you can change <coughs> excuse me the uh, pointer to I just use default usually and then the opacity of course sound on click I usually don't use because that just adds another click and you can usually hear it from my uh, uh, Mac anyway Keyboard, show keys pressed, so that's really cool, actually. Uh, if you're doing a tutorial, it's very helpful if you're trying to show what keys to press to do certain things, maybe like a sh shortcut video. Very helpful. Show modifier keys pressed. You can uh, turn those on or off. Then there's callout properties. So if I wanted to add a callout, I think what this will do, yeah, when I, it'll have a little uh, call out I guess uh, around the uh, mouse the tip of the mouse so to show something like if you wanted to show something very important in a tutorial video or something that would be good for that and then there's all kinds of options for that annotations I can add an annotation like a, let's see I can add a box if I wanted and just put whatever I want in it then there's text properties I can add a text box if I want make it say whatever Shift enter. Uh, so I can do this. So actually, with this video, you probably just saw that I'm going to add in 
this, uh, where is it? Show keys pressed. I'll do that so you can just see that. So you can see what keys I'm pressing. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I really like the way that they do their text annotations. They're rounded and they look great, I think. And then you can edit stuff with this. So if I select it, I can change this uh, stuff if I really want. Then you can add more media, like if you wanted to have a video here, like at the ending of some videos, like my video sometimes, Soldier Knows Best, big YouTubers like that. They'll have another one off to the side at the end where you can click and see their recent videos or whatever. They probably are using ScreenFlow to do that and just add another one off to the side, which is really nice. So overall, I think ScreenFlow is a great uh, video or screen recorder slash video editor. Uh, definitely worth the 100 bucks, I believe it is right now in the, app, in the Mac App Store. Uh, definitely check it out. I want to thank the developers for sending out a promo code for a review. Uh, it's a great application. I highly recommend it. Uh, adds like virtually no lag to your gaming videos. Like if you're trying to record something like Minecraft or the asphalt, it lagged a little bit, but I don't think I cleared all the um, RAM and I had had other things running in the background. But uh, yeah, great application. Definitely check it out. Link in the description. And that's about it for this one. Uh, yeah, so I didn't really mention too much about this a little timeline here down at the bottom, but uh, obviously you can like drag these and make them longer and stuff. Just general things, you can move them around, and it's really simple and intuitive. That's about it for this one. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.